food. Uh, I was wondering, do you happen to have any chickpeas or no? No. Damn it. So I can make the quinoa salad without the chickpeas, but the chickpeas really do like add uh, like the texture to it. But that's fine. Do you have a measuring cup? Uh, I have something you can use as a measuring cup. Cool, cool. Yeah, because we're doing quinoa. There's, there's no uh, real straighter for that, so you have to use the right amount of water. Oh, I know. I do two, two to one ratio. Two cups for every one. Yeah. And I don't have a lot of cookware to work with. I gotta oh, get. I, I got a bunch of stuff up. We're gonna die. I got pots and. I do also in Florida. I just haven't gotten it up here yet. Because we keep going back and forth. <laughs> Hopefully next time we'll have everything. Oh, this is really great. Look at that. This is such a good feature to have. Look at how beautiful is that. Oh my god, come over here. I started like following this. I was like, where does that go, right? And I start like leaning back and look at this. What is that? Is wow. That blue? Well, there's that, right? That's in front of it. But look at the wispy part. Look at that, those lines and those details in this. It goes all the way over there, all the way into that stuff. It just wraps around. Yeah, could very well be. I think whatever we intuitively believe is much closer to what it actually is than not. Well, that feels like not. a city, dude. Like, and you know I've photographed cloud cities in the plane. But every single time I've been out here, even for the last time, they're always over those mountaintops, and I never seem to drift over here. Oh, my God. And the other thing, too, is when I was on my way over... Oh, my God. Eric, so I'm listening. Come here, though. Yeah, check it out in the camera. Look at this detail. Look at that. Hey, go up. I want to see that. Yeah, that's I got it before, That's what's getting too. my attention the most. Well, that thing's just a, cl a craft drifting in front of all of it. Why a different color than the rest? What kind of craft is it? No, I just... A lot of the time, the different colors and textures define like the separation of the different craft and like one might be uh, one group one could be one thing I think it's a variety of different technologies and races and the different races and different technologies show themselves in different ways and this thing this black thing that's been here this has not moved no. this has been sitting completely still I have the video of it that this thing has not moved at all this whole scene right here everything that we're looking at right here has been here the entire time yeah, I've been filming and this long wispy thing that's been coming into view over time, a lot of the time I think this is like the early stages and it manifests and changes into these darker things. And they're higher up. Um, and they're like higher up, larger things that are like really, really vast. Then these things are like these low ones. These are like individual craft. So like that one. And then this whole thing, I don't know what it is, but it's something. It could be a craft at the head of it. And actually, as it's flying, it's leaving this trail. But I doubt that because inside of the blurriness, you can see so much other stuff going on. And it can make out shapes of other craft. Yeah, I could draw like that one. Before. Yeah, look at that. A lot guy. of these model themselves after like birds. Dude, birds, aquatic life. There's a whole group that I believe uh, only has craft that are like sea creatures. <clears throat> There's squids, um, mantas. Mantas are SSP though. Yeah. The squids might be also. Could be. I'll be right back. I'm going to start that quinoa up and then come back out. Because the quinoa is going to take a while. Yeah, I just want to get this until I can't yeah, film anymore. I just want to get some food in there. I'm starting to really hungry. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm starving also.
these guys are actually just coming closer to us. They're really not moving, but do slowly seem to be coming closer. <laughs> Look at this guy. I mean, it's so obvious. Look, that's a front face, that darker part right there. And the perspective of it, it goes back, so that part's closer to us, and it goes backwards. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah, you can make out some of the detail of the structure here now. Oh, yeah, as it comes closer, it's becoming more detailed. I got that guy over there still. That guy's really easy to see. Yeah, these guys are coming right overhead. They're moving towards us. Maybe they'll take me away for my birthday. Oh, yeah! Look at this guy now. Holy sh Nike. Baloney. Oh yeah, baby. Wow. That front face that I was talking about, look at it now. It's got that perfect circle right in the center of it. You can see the definition of the rectangular yet curved front. And you can see the tail sticking back over there. Ah, oh, so cool. <laughs> You'd think I'd have like the levels all like whacked out to get these kind of darkness. Nope. All I did, it's just like set on a vivid. Even if I didn't have it on that setting, these would still be black. Oh, you see that egg shape right in the center? It's a little hard to see, but. Oh, incredible detail. <sighs> So now we can see what was here now that these are coming overhead. See the this guy right here? This is like the tip of it. And I'm moving down along the back. Shoo, color right 
right there. See how it like starts there and it goes out in either direction, comes back around and they meet again down there. All one piece. And it's just chugging along. And you can see the shadow creates the side, the wall, and it's exactly where it would be if it was what I'm saying it is. You know, and that's how you know that it is what it is, because the way the shadows fall are exactly how they should be, right? You're not just taking something and forcing it to be something that you want it to be. You're looking what's actually there. Ooh, I hope you can make out that guy in the distance. See the white part on top? That's the top. It's like when you see an airplane or like a stealth fighter in a distance and the top has that bump on it and the wings come back. That guy's huge. Alright, I'm gonna stop. I think we got some good stuff.